Okay guys, so I want to fill you in on a few things that are just kind of behind the scenes for us. Um, so I just had my blood drawn so that um, my doctor can kind of re review a lot of different things that we think might possibly be going on with me. Um, I have been having some health issues and just a lot of questions and unknowns. You guys know that when we first got to Nashville, um, I got really sick. I had um, kidney stones. I got pneumonia. I was in the hospital um, a couple of times. And uh, while we were in the hospital, they did just a ton of different tests. They did x-rays, um, ultrasounds of my lungs and that kind of thing. And um, a couple weeks ago, we got a call from the hospital saying that they had found a nodule, is what they said, in my lungs that they were not really sure what it was. Um, and they said it could be related to the pneumonia that I had currently had, or I had previously had. Um, but they said it could also be something a little bit more serious. Um, they did say the word cancer, which was really scary to hear. And so um, they wanted me to follow up with a primary doctor, which we found a great one here in Nashville. And so, um, yeah, they're just doing a, a, a big blood draw where they can kind of test a lot of different things. I was already planning on following up with this doctor anyways because um, I wanted to get to the bottom of some other kind of ongoing health issues. Um, I've talked about some of my stuff in the past, but just having a condition called MTHFR where that just kind of affects a lot of different um, areas of your health and I feel like I have to do everything perfectly like eating perfectly perfect supplements sleep no stress all of that to feel adequate and if I don't do all those things perfectly I'm really struggling I'm feeling exhausted I'm feeling run down and um, I know we joke about this like we're parents of seven kids you're gonna feel tired like that's <laughs> part of it too um, but this is something different this is something um, that I've struggled with for years um, and so we've thought maybe there's a thyroid issue, maybe there's, you know, just a lot of different questions. Yeah. And so this doctor is just going to look at everything. And we're going to sit down tomorrow and talk about everything so that we can hopefully get to the bottom of this and figure out what really needs to happen so that I can be feeling more whole. Um, and so that's that's what we're doing and going to take a closer look at that um, the, the nodule and see and just make sure it's, now that my pneumonia is cleared up and has been gone for for weeks now I think that was the most uh, frustrating part of that call mm -hmm. was they were like yeah it it might be cancer but we won't be able to really truly check for a couple months or for a couple weeks or whatever. yeah they were saying we're they, like, they wanted me to heal from the pneumonia first and see if it disappears once I'm better yeah. then that would just mean it was related to the infection in my lungs right. Um, if it's still there after healing from the pneumonia, then that means that there, there might be something more serious going on. So yeah. my lungs feel good. I feel better. Um, but we need to, we need to get that checked out because that's not something to take lightly. Yeah. So I'm actually feeling pretty at peace about it right now. I yeah. think I was pretty scared when I first heard that. It was um, a rough few days. We... A lot of crying on my part because just the unknowns of that and knowing that I'm not going to have answers for a while. That was really scary, but, um... But I'm feeling a, a lot more at peace now, just knowing like, you know, whatever's going on in my body, like I've been searching for answers for a long time and I know that God is in control of this. Um, and I'm not just saying that lightly, like, oh, you know, God's gonna take care of everything, but like truly, truly knowing, like he knows what's going on and he is going to take care of it in the way that he sees fit in his timing and I can trust that and I can rest in that. And so that is, that's absolutely what we are doing. And it was really cool because we got in the car and immediately um, got a notification yeah. that our friends' podcast went live, which is um, our friends, we did a podcast with them last week, and so that yeah. just aired. And we literally got into the car, and we're sitting here just listening <laughs> to us talk on our friends' podcast about just our story and above, you know, just about God's faithfulness and um, just, just seeing all throughout the years how God's yeah. been so good and so faithful. And so it was really cool to just kind of get in and like have that reminder, like, hey, he's always been there. He's always taking care of us. And he he's not about to start to failing now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So um, anyway, so I'm actually, I'm actually excited. I'm, I'm feeling really good today. And tomorrow afternoon, I'll go back in and, and talk with the doctor and, and we'll see. But um, yeah. 
but I, I know everything's gonna be okay and so I wanted to talk to you guys about that too because you know we don't share like all of our personal stuff online you guys know yeah. like we couldn't possibly just do that but right. there are some things that I feel like I, I want to share and I want to be a little bit more transparent with you and also just know like we all go through things and I know we've shared a lot of stuff with the kids and that kind of stuff but like we we all go through difficulties yeah. we all struggle we all feel terrible sometimes you know yeah. and so um just know that that's like something that everyone deals with and um I'm choosing very purposefully to deal with this in a way that um, I want to have hope and I want to have joy and I want to be able to um, have faith and just rest in that. And so um, anytime I start to feel anxious or scared, I keep reminding myself, like, where do you place your hope? Where do you place your trust? God yeah. is in control and you can trust him in that. And so um, that's kind of what's going on with us right now. We're going to go into our favorite coffee shop because it happened to be like right across the it's street. It's across the street. We're like, hey, we get a little date out of this. That made me smile when I pulled up. I was like, yeah, that's, that's nice because I didn't, I had never been to this office yeah. before, but we're going to go grab some coffee and finish, yeah. finish listening to this podcast. Guys, and... it's so fun. It's called Table 40. Um, yeah. Our friends, Matt and Leslie Holiday. um, they started doing it. It's more sportsy because Matt was a, he played for the St. Louis Cardinals. I did some ministry um, with that team for a little bit. And so got to go down to spring training and like hang out with a lot of them a bit and really got to know them really well. They became really good friends. Amazing people. And, um, and just kind of have this ministry to major league, you know, baseball players in a, in a lot of ways. And um, so this is a really cool podcast that that we got to, they called and was like, I was like, well, I don't do the sports, but uh, <laughs> we can for sure come on and yeah. talk about our story. And so well, that's what the podcast is, is just people telling their story yeah. and just yeah. showing like what it's like for you to live a life of faith and regardless of your background or what you do for a living. And so yeah. I, I really admire them and I love listening to their podcast. So yeah. it's really cool that we got that's to really be cool. on the yeah. podcast with them just yeah. talking and, and all of that. So you guys should check that out. Table 40. We'll put a link in the description box yeah. to make it easier for you, but. We're going to go grab some coffee and finish listening ourselves. Yeah. The absolute worst part of blood draws is taking the tape off. It's like <laughs> stuck to all the hair on your arm. Just rip it off. Just get one quick rip. It is probably better. Like, look at that. That's like stuck to all of my hair. All right. It's like free We're waxing. Yeah. And look, there's hardly a mark. That's In good. In the weirdest spot that you could possibly want to wax. <laughs> no way. I'm not about waxing. That's your thing, babe. All right, let's go get some coffee. It's my girl, guys. <laughs> Oh, we're such weirdos. Proud husband alert. Yeah, that is a great... We should get that. <laughs> it's pretty fitting for today, huh? <laughs> pretty early so everyone's just now waking up oh can you get up there you go where are you where are you gonna go that way 
<laughs> what do you guys have? Legos. Whoa, Legos and Spider-Man toys. Linky's like, oh, that one looks really cool. Oh, you like my Oh, did you just shoot me? Whoa, look at that Lego. That's cool, guys. Wow. Oh, you're carrying all your favorite so people? Lincoln has my person. Uh-huh. My person's the president. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, they're sharing Legos with me. the president. Yes. Oh, the, the president? president. Cool. Ethan's the vice president. Oh, Spider-Man's the vice president? Cool. Um, right -hand, right -hand man. Oh, the right-hand man. And then Secretary of Treasury. Cool. Secretary of War. Secretary of State. Oh, secretaries. all the secretaries. Which one's that? Congress? <laughs> you guys, that's awesome. That's so funny. So the kids just had breakfast and everyone is just getting kind of situated. We are gonna do some school this morning, but um, we're taking it a little bit easy. We're just kind of doing a little bit of a lighter load because we have a lot of other things going on. So everyone just ate breakfast and is feeling pretty good and just having fun. Lincoln is really wanting to start playing Legos with the big kids. He sees that they are playing with these and he's starting to show interest. Like. You did? One of your Legos yeah. named Lincoln, that's cute. He's like, this is cool. Look at him crossing his feet like that. <laughs> you guys are too cute. We've decided to put a fire in the fireplace because even though that's normally what we do in the evenings, it's actually really cold today. And so any excuse to, to light a fire, we are like all for it. <laughs> We Texans are like thinking this is just such like, a special it's treat. It's like 45 degrees outside. <laughs> Let's go. And it was like, it'll be like April. And we're like, it's like 55 degrees outside. Yeah. Let's go. This is going to be happening all year round. Lincoln, are you making your Lincoln Lego fly? <laughs> <laughs> what a funny guy. Hey, boy. I haven't had a hug from you today. Yeah. Oh, he was like squealing as he came down the stairs. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Oh. Look at all those hugs. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Thank so you. cute. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> you jump with the gun. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that your new personal trainer? <laughs> wow, Linky, you're so strong. <laughs> you're silly. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you, Jamal. Oh tickle my you, goodness. <laughs> so one of the things that we're actually going to be doing in about a week that we're really excited about, this is a new development is that we are actually taking the kids skiing. We are going yeah. to be going. There's actually a place here in Tennessee. It's a few hours away, but... Um, I really want to go on the, the tube slide. Yeah, there's tubing and skiing. It's a smaller resort because it's Tennessee. It's not like the normal like place that we go and bail. And but it thing. still looks amazing. It looks super amazing, super family friendly. Um, next year we're gonna be actually doing like a big family ski trip with like my sisters and parents yeah. and that kind of thing. So we wanted to give the kids an opportunity to kind of become familiar with skiing a little bit somewhere that is a little bit closer to home and a little bit easier to, to just manage. And yeah. so um, next year we're gonna be heading to Gatlinburg and they have a really cool snow and ski area and a really big tubing hill. It's gonna be so awesome. The kids are wait. really excited. We just got all of their like snow clothes in and snow boots and everything. We should do and like a, a snow clothes fashion show. <laughs> a fashion show. Do you guys want to show them your like <laughs> snow clothes? Yeah, yeah you do. Handstand. You did a handstand? Yeah. Whoa. And turned. Wow, and you turned. That's cool. Yeah. Handstand turn. Wow, do you guys want to show them your really cool ski clothes? Yes. You wanna go model it for them? Yes. This is exciting. Yes. Linky was wearing the boots yesterday. Hey, hey, we tried the boots on Lincoln yesterday and he was literally just in a pull up <laughs> and his ski boots and it was the cutest thing ever. I'm not gonna show you guys cause we it's don't so like to put fun. our kids undressed on, on social there. media, but but it was the cutest thing ever. Wow. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for this trip. This is gonna be so fun I'm next week. So okay, the boys are dressed. <laughs> Lincoln, look at how cute he looks guys the snow boots are actually pretty supportive 
<laughs> wow, uh, look at those camo coats. Look, those are cool, guys. <laughs> and Link, uh, Liam's got camo boots, too. Yeah, those are so super those cool. Boots. Those They're are amazing. awesome. You guys look so cool. Look at Linky and his little <laughs> snow bib. That's so cute. I need something like that. Yeah. Snow bib. <laughs> little uh, snow overalls. Snow yeah. overalls. I know. You have some snow He's overalls. He's so happy to wear this. He gets so excited every time we try it on. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. Yeah, he had some pants, I guess, first, and they were a little too... Well, we put the pants on him, but I was like, you know, those are going to continue to fall down, and these like yeah. little overall bib things this work so much better. He has yeah. a hard time keeping his pants up anyway. Right. So this will be great. This will keep you much more no warm. No snowy butt crack for you. Oh my god. <laughs> he just comes up and just like Aww. totally just pops out of my lap. That's snuggling. You like to snuggle with daddy? Come here. Let Come me here, see. Jude. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jude likes to snuggle with daddy. Oh. Too. Aww. <laughs> These are so cute on him. He's like, wait, why are you wearing that hood? We have some hats coming too. The hats will be here tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It's not snowy out there today, but we're going to go see the snow next week. There he is. Whoa. Ethan. Yeah, we got we to take the tag. Yes, Linky. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got the tail. Cool. You guys are some of the coolest looking boys I've ever seen. I can't believe how excited he is for that. Can you guys do a little spin for me and show off your cool clothes? <laughs> <laughs> the spin is like... <laughs> you look like little Eskimos. You're so cool. Is that a spin and a dance? <laughs> So I have a question for you guys. Who is the most excited to go sledding and skiing? Yeah, put your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be such a fun, special trip next week. Yep. You guys have never been skiing. Like we've played in the snow before, but yep. have you ever really, like not even really played in the snow? Like when we went hiking, there was snow at the top of the mountain, but you guys have never had like snow clothes and like actually had snow days, have you? No. Did we? Daddy and I go skiing a lot, but yeah. yeah I do. Oh, you, so you guys, guys are... have been sledding a lot, but never skiing. What did you say? I can't put my arms. I can't put my arms down. I can't put my arms down. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna probably get some scarves, and you'll have some winter hats too to keep extra extra warm. That way we don't get cold while we're having so much fun in the snow. Link, you don't even know. You're gonna have so much fun. I hope you're gonna have so much fun. He's just gonna roll down the hill. He's just going. Link is just gonna roll down the hill. <laughs> yeah. What? Look at you. Where'd your arms go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're right there. Cool. So we're practicing making our snow angels so that we'll be really good when we get there. Linky, can you make snow angels? Yeah. Don't worry. We'll we'll help you figure it out. What? <laughs> That's true. That can actually help kind of cover your face. But we'll get a scarf too, okay? Yeah. This is gonna be. Ooh, that uh, that that fireplace is getting really hot. Look at how big that fire is. Linky, do you see? Yeah, that is really big. Are you guys getting sweaty in your ski clothes inside? <laughs> Maybe we should take them off. Ms. Kira and Penelope are heading to where? The acai place. Are you gonna bike there? Yes. It's pretty chilly. It's actually closer than the coffee shop is. So that's it's okay, fine. not a bad. Yeah. We just walked to there yesterday and filmed yeah. my video. That's true. It was so fun. So Miss Penelope was filming a next video for her channel, which would probably I be mean, up today or I tomorrow. Mean, uh, Post tonight, eight o'clock. Oh yeah, so by the time you guys see this video, hers will already be live, so go check out her channel. Yay. But she did a really cute video. We were cracking I mean, up. I like, the things like, it. I was filming a long time, mm -hmm. but it just feels like, oh my God, I mean, I don't see his wood at all. And I just, you know what, I'm just make a new one again. Mm -hmm. So, and then, I added it and I filmed it and it sang it and I feel so happy. And yeah. I was ready to post it tonight. Yeah, because it turned out so cute. Like, you've been know, working hard so and yeah, I love it. I love it. But yeah, they're going to go get some acai and you're going to bring me back some? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yay. Thank I'm you so, so much. The best way to start the day is with the some acai. Way, best daughter. <laughs> <laughs> best daughters bring me acai. <laughs> what? It's acai in you. Bye. Bye. Be safe. We'll see you in a few minutes. 
<laughs> Bye. Bye. Be safe. Anyways, guys, I will keep you all updated on um, just what I figure out about my health and all of that. Hopefully, we're able to have some answers pretty soon. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this appointment tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have like definitive answers tomorrow, um, but I think we'll at least have some good indicators from the blood work and just being able to talk with the doctor at length. And so, um, really good step forward. Yeah. Throwing the Mario. Thank you. You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> And, and this guy just started with a personal trainer yesterday. Yeah. That's a really big step. I just posted a video this morning about it, and it's been really cool to read all the comments from everybody who's just looking for inspiration, you know, because they're all trying yeah. to do their own weight loss journey. And so it's pretty cool over on, over on my personal channel, just like kind of we're all sort of on this journey together, and that's been really encouraging for me, and hopefully I'm being an encouragement to other people as well. So. Yeah. Like pretty the, cool. The year 2021 is the year that Steven wants to be like really serious, yeah. and it's awesome that he has found someone who is like a professional, and it's just going to like run alongside him. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So excited. And uh, so really help him meet some of those goals, and so I'm really yeah. excited for ah! Bye. Oh my gosh. Well, we love you guys so much, and we're gonna get started on school here in just a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and Bye. close it out here, and um, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We love you, and we'll see you guys Bye. next time. Bye. He's like, Bye. <laughs> He's just waiting for it. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> for your name's sake, you will lead me. Back.